Hi guys, this is how you make a saddle rack out of some pallets uh, and some floorboards. So I've stripped all the pallet planks off it and then pulled all the nails out. And that is the floorboards that you will be using. So first thing is you cut the floorboards at the top, the height how you want them, and then you, you cut the kind of angles out. So the width is the same as the, the pallet wood, depending on how wide those planks are. So we make sure the same width and then just make sure that the floorboards are the height that you want the saddle rack to be. Next thing is I sanded them all down because the floorboards are very dirty. So we just sand them all down. So there you are. And then that's the bottom pieces on the floor. And that's the top. So that's all sanded down and then just screwed all together. So there we are. It's just screwed all together, countersunk, and then some wood fill on top just to hide the screws a bit, just to make it a bit neater. Um, it took about 20 minutes to put all this far. Screw it all together. Fill in any holes you have. Give another quick sander with a little mouse, a little fine sand, I think it's 240 grit. And then the next thing is once you've got it all how you want it, you just put some oil on it. You could use varnish, I prefer the look of oil, so I usually oil um, the wood I use. And make sure that you, you sand over the, the countersunk holes as well. So there you are, it's all now oiled, you can see it's a lot more colourful. Put two little coat hangers on the side just for the, a bridle or something, a bag to hang on. And then there you go, you can see the screw hole countersunk and oil. So that is just a second layer of oil. So still a bit shiny, still need to let that dry. But that is basically it. Um, took a couple of hours all together from start to finish. Um, preparing the wood probably took the longest, but I think it's very neat, it's a nice finish to it. And uh, we'll, we'll be nice in the yard just to put the, the saddle on. Um, that was the rust and floor oil that I used, the one I normally use for most of the wood because I prefer the, the final look of it. So if you enjoyed the video, remember to subscribe at the top and hopefully it was useful and you can make something similar if you like. It fits very well into the, the stable and actually a lot of people have commented on it so it's definitely worth having something like it. Remember to check out my other videos too. Thanks for watching guys.